Today, I'm at a small town boat builder, Eastern Boatworks, in Milton, New Hampshire, a community of 5,000 people. The more I talk to the employees of this company, the more it seems that the company exists for the employees and the community around it. And as it turns out, that's exactly the case. Cheryl, you got a minute? Sure. You've been here a long time, but not so long with Greg. How did things start with him? Greg came into the office as a potential facilitator for our 401k program. He was uh, doing a walk and talk about to different companies and came in and at the time we did not need the services of Greg, so he kindly left me his business card. Well, fast forward, we did require the services of a 401k facilitator and that led to a call to Greg, who took over our program and became very familiar with the company and the employees here. Fast forward again, companies being sold and Greg is the buyer. Greg was a very enthusiastic and empowering I hate to use the word boss because he's almost like a partner with all of us here. It seems he like a family us. in this yes. place. Oh, very, very much. We are all proud of this company. We are proud of everything we do here. And we really want to support Greg in his endeavor here and the company. I've been in a lot of president's offices and boat building companies. <laughs> Not one has been like this. There's a lot of <laughs> personal touches going on here. Yeah. First of all, I mean, you've got company. What's up with that? This is my interior decorator. This is Gia. She's my youngest daughter. Um, she loves to draw in color. So she's been this responsible. This is all her artwork. For all of her, all of her artwork. Yes. And then this is my oldest daughter, Ellie. Um, she's the fisherman. Um, so she, you usually find her out on the boats. And I'm seeing a lot of kids as we walk around <clears throat> the yard. What's going on with that? Yeah, Are we're they all working here? No, well, hopefully one day, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we're a small community and we take care of each other. And it's about this time of year where um, camps are no longer running, but school is just right around the corner. So it's that in-between moment for a lot of my parents. Um, so we allow them to bring their kids to, to work and let them stay here. And we'll have them for about a week, week and a half every year. I have two kids who are in elementary school. I have one that's born at first and one that's third. And um, anytime the school like calls unexpectedly, because one of them calls, Greg is, without a second hesitation, Greg's like, yeah, go. You gotta, you gotta take care of your kids, which I absolutely love. Um, my kids are currently here right now because I didn't have daycare for a week and a half. And I brought it up to Greg. Greg, is it okay if I bring my kids here? My husband is wrapped up in a big, um, contract right now without second hesita hesitation Greg said yeah bring them in there's there's someone over here running around on scooters which I love I couldn't wish for a better place to work for so I got a coffee mug from my daughter that says world's okayest dad so it's nice to see who knocked me off the pedestal thanks for that yeah no problem sorry buddy <laughs> we all know each other we've uh gone to school with each other, our kids play with each other, whether it's sports or the playground. Some way or another, there's a tie. Uh, my wife is a teacher here in town and has been since 2008, 2009. Um, so she's taught a lot of the kids. Uh, one in particular is uh, Haley Holmes, our executive marketing director. Uh, she is uh, 21 years old, just got married, and uh, my wife taught her. As a matter of fact, it wasn't about maybe a month ago, that my two girls were helping my wife clean out her closet and get ready for this school year. And they came across some of my wife's old paperwork from uh, their students. And one of them was a drawing from Haley Holmes, who's now again our marketing director, and said, I love you, Miss Jessica. You're the best teacher ever. Have a great summer. And my girls, who think the world of Haley, thought it was the greatest thing ever. I didn't know Jess was Greg's husband when I first started here. Um, and I didn't put two and two together until we had hung out a few times at boat shows. Um, we friended each other on Facebook and it said Jessica Lusick Hopkins. And I put two and two together. Um, I remember Miss Lusick from, I think it was fourth grade. So I put two and two together and then we started talking about it. And it turns out she was actually my fourth grade teacher. As I'm walking around, I'm talking to your workers and I'm seeing that they all speak very highly, not only of each other, but of you as well. Everybody seems to be really happy working here. 
I mean, is that by design <clears throat> or are they just faking it for me? <laughs> <laughs> Might be a little bit of both. It is, it is a Monday morning. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I think a, a lot of it is um, they are happy here. Uh, they, they truly know. Um, I've always preached, if you've got my back, I've got yours. And I'm not, I've never been the owner that's going to take the first dollar. I give the first dollar. And then, uh, you know, my family's pretty well off. We're, we're, we're good with where we're at. I want to see everybody else be happy. I want to see everybody else come to work and worry about work. So I'd say the big, if not the biggest, difference between buying a boat from a huge conglomerate versus buying a boat from the small town boat builder is that you're supporting the families, you're supporting the people, the individual businesses that you work with. You're not feeding the corporate animal, the company jet, all of the people on the board of directors. There's none of that going no, on here. No, no, it's it's me and the guys and the girls outside and the, in the shops that are working. Um, that's where the dollars go, that's where the profits go. It goes into making a better quality life for them and for our boats and for our boaters. Now, when you're in a community like this, you have to be a part of the community. You can't just plant your roots here and then start building and then ignore everything that's going on around you. It just doesn't work like that. This company takes care of the community, takes care of people around the community and people outside the community. They really do an awful lot. Today, I wanna to look into just what they do. Here's just a sampling of things that this small town company does in order to make a difference in the lives of the people it associates with and the town its employees live in. Differences that wouldn't be possible if it wasn't building quality boats in the first place. It starts a couple of years ago when an organization called the Veterans Fishing Adventure, or VFA, reached out to Eastern Boat Works after they acquired one of the company's 248 Explorers for their veterans fishing program. Basically, they had some questions and needed some parts. As it turns out, Eastern support for veterans in general made this call just the start of a great relationship between the two entities. VFA then invited a small group of employees down for a few days in April of 2022 to see what they do. This allowed them to see firsthand how their program runs, meet many of the veterans, and obviously, go on a fishing trip. In the fall of 2022, they sent their boat up to the factory so that they could make a few minor improvements. And true to form, Eastern Boat Works took it upon themselves to completely revamp the entire boat. Among the many improvements to the boat, Eastern installed a door for handicapped accessibility, added custom upholstery and vinyl work, added a complete American flag vinyl wrap, and threw in all the latest electronics. Then they spared no expense to bring up no less than 20 veterans from the association to their little town of Milton, New Hampshire the following spring for the big reveal. These 20 veterans received an escort by the local police and fire departments and the entire community lined the streets waving flags to thank them for their service as they made their way to the factory. Those veterans were so remarkably thankful that they presented not only the shop but the entire team with some very special awards. And make no mistake, the level of veterans the team has met with reads like a who's who of heroes. Take for example, the gentleman to the left. That's Commander Kirk Lippold. He was in command of the Navy destroyer USS Cole when it was attacked by Al-Qaeda in October of 2000. To the right is General David Rodriguez, a four-star general who retired in 2016 after 40 years of service to our country. Look at this group of heroes. The gentleman using the walker is Val. He was in the Battle of the Bulge with General Patton's army. The soldier in the wheelchair is Chris, who lost three limbs when his Humvee was blown up in Desert Storm. And this is Harry F. Miller. Harry also fought in the Battle of the Bulge with orders to stop the advancing Germans so that Patton's army could catch up. They were told a nearby hangar had 20 tanks that needed a little work, but none of them were serviceable. So with two days lead time, they salvaged parts from all of them to get three working and ultimately held off the German troops till Patton arrived and got all the glory. Harry and Val never met at the Battle of the Bulge, but here in the US, they only live an hour from each other. Each year on the second weekend of July, Eastern Boats hosts an open house for the entire community. For this event, they have all the buildings open for tours. They're joined by the town's fire trucks, police cars, bouncy houses, there's face painting and other activities. The big draw though is of course, the food. 
Eastern puts on a massive cookout for the whole town with hamburgers and hot dogs, popcorn, cotton candy, slushies, and soft serve ice cream. They even cap off the evening with fireworks. It's one of the biggest and most popular events in the entire community. And again, they do this every year. Each year, Eastern Boatworks donates a 22 Sisu to the historic Martha's Vineyard Fishing Derby. This is a traditional event that has been taking place going on 78 years now. A few of the employees from Eastern attend and participate in the fishing derby during the last week. On the final day of the tournament, company president Greg Hopkins even attends the award ceremony to present the boat to the winner. This is among the company's favorite events to be a part of. This is just a sampling of the many things that Eastern Boat Works does in and around the community. Things like this that separate a small town boat builder from the big corporate builders. And it makes a difference. A difference between giving back whenever possible and saving every dollar to show the board of directors a prettier bottom line. There's also a big difference in the way Eastern Boat Works builds their boats and welcomes new customers into the family. But that's another video, be sure to look for it. For now, this is how one small town boat builder measures success by making a difference. Eastern Boatworks. I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.